Always tracking, always alerting. Here's your Storm Track 15 weather. Welcome back. Time now, 514. Adam, I was in Charleston this weekend for a bachelorette party, and when I tell you, it's like I never left Louisiana because <laughs> it was that hot and that humid in, in Charleston as well. So you know what? We're not the only one feeling this uh, humidity and heat. Yeah, you know, that is a southeast. At this time of the year, Alex, we are seeing a lot of heat oh, yeah. and a lot of humidity. I and believe it now. Also, some tropical stuff. Of we course. got a lot to talk about. So let's do that and show you what's going on out there for the rest of your day. You can see that we're sitting at 76 in Lafayette right now, 73 in Opelousas, 76 also in New Iberia. Clear conditions out the door, maybe some patchy fog to deal with, but overall not a bad looking start to your morning, just very humid. By 9 o'clock we're at 81, midday we're at 89, 3 p.m. in the low to mid 90s, and then by 5 o'clock in the lower 90s with some storms. Starting around lunchtime and carrying on through at least the first part of your evening. Now the future cast shows that we're not going to be seeing much as we head through the morning time. In fact, we should see a lot of sunshine, but by the time we hit 11, 12 o'clock, those clouds begin to develop and then that'll spur a few storms. Now there's not going to be a whole lot out there. In fact, you see our future cast saying, Really, not much. I think there's going to be a little bit more. There's some moisture hanging around the atmosphere. And notice that by 6 p.m., still tracking some of these showers and storms down closer to the coast. Winds are out of the north today, so that's going to push anything from north to south. And so you're really going to have to have these storms kind of forming up north of you in order to get them. But we could see even still be seeing some of those hanging around Abbeville by 9 o'clock in the evening. Now, overnight, Temperatures drop off into the mid 70s. Some clouds roll on through and then tomorrow 93. Those afternoon pop up storms once again that summer heat. It is not going away, but we have to talk tropics. There's a lot going on out there and the first thing I want to show you is that we have quite a bit going on in the Atlantic. Newly formed tropical depression eight out way out in the Atlantic near Bermuda. Not really going to focus on that, but the two that we are Grace and Fred. We're going to start off with Grace here because Grace is the one that down the road could once again be a storm in the Gulf of Mexico. As of the 4 a.m. advisory, it is a tropical depression, winds of 35 miles per hour, land interaction with Hispaniola, which is this island that contains the Dominican Republic and Haiti. That is causing this to stay kind of weak, but it is a broad trough axis and it's going to take some time for this to kind of get its act together here as it moves westbound at around 15 miles per hour. And guess what that does? Puts it with more land interaction, not only Hispaniola, but Cuba. Now the good news today compared to where we were looking even just yesterday is this is expected to continue moving westbound here into the southern Gulf of Mexico as it stays right now. That could still change, but the trend has been in our favor. The more we can get this down to the south, the better it'll be. And why do we think that? Well, high pressure, which is steering this, has not been our friend in the past year or so when it comes to tropical systems. But watch what happens as we get later on in the week. Grace is going to continue moving to the west, but then that high builds across the northern Gulf here, and that should keep this down to the south. Now, is this set in stone? No, but again, the trend is in our favor, so we'll keep you up to date on Grace. The other one I want to talk about that is currently in the Gulf. This is Fred, a 50 mile per hour tropical storm but showing signs that it is getting healthy this morning and it could make a run up to hurricane status later on today. Now this is going to head towards a Florida panhandle where we are seeing some of those heavier pockets of rain, but again, not our system could have a low end hurricane right around Destin, Panama City, making landfall later on in the afternoon, but not our problem. Going forward, those hit and miss to scattered storms through the end, at least Thursday and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, high pressure that is going to likely block grace from headed our way. It's going to make us feel pretty hot out there. Mid 90s and not a whole lot of rain to track Alex. OK, Adam. Well, as we know, a lot can change between now and then. So we are lucky to have you to keep us in the know, but we'll check back with you here in just a bit. Thanks so much. We'll switching gears.